Shokugeki no Soma chapter 190 review. I loved how this chapter explained how Hayama lost this match. So you start off with So. <laughs> and he gives his reasoning for why he thinks Soma won. Because he thinks skill level, that they're dead even. So what the deciding factor in this match was, he explains who had the more passion. And he brings up Soma and his special honey. And how hard Soma was looking for that damn bucket ingredient. And that's what decides this match, is that Soma had more passion than what Hayama did. Now, how could that be? Didn't Hayama do this for June? Well, it explains in this chapter beautifully that Hayama lost two things that he loved about cooking. June and freedom. And, and Azami sent in a guy who did not have the natural desire to win. I don't care if you say, oh, I want to win so bad to protect this person. I got to do this and that. If you don't have the support of said person and you're not even free of doing what you of doing what you feel what your natural cooking is or like you're bind by someone if you don't do this you're being bribed your body's not going to want to have the same desire your body's going to want is going to naturally have these thoughts of like oh man I don't, I don't want to be here I can't I don't want to do this this doesn't feel right. No matter how many times he says he's going to destroy Yukihira, his mind is naturally going to keep doubting himself. His mind's naturally not going to have the same fire back when he had and back in the autumn elections. And freaking Soma explains that beautifully when he grabs high and by the shirt and tells him, "It pisses me off that you don't even care about this match because in his heart he doesn't care. Skill level, yeah, he might be better than he ever has been, as Dojima pointed out a couple chapters. But so is Soma, and the difference between them is the passion." I mean, can you blame Hayama? You took two things away from that he loved most about cooking, except for the spices. You took two out of three things. You took away June, and you took away freedom, but you kept him his spices. But even that, two out of the three things, and he's at a disadvantage. And that's why this wasn't a freaking battle between Yukihira and Hayama. It was just a battle between Totsuki trying to get off that central monkey off of uh, freaking uh, of Hayama. And they, this was a battle to save a comrade in arms. And I'm like, I loved how this whole battle was done because this wasn't a Shokugeki. And I can't wait for the real Shokugeki when you have uh, Yukihina versus Hayama. And you have him going at it without any any um, handicaps, you know what I mean? There's no uh, nothing holding, holding them back, nothing messing with their mind, nothing messing with their passion. And this chapter was just so done, well, well done. This whole battle was was well done. And let me tell you something, Kuga, him lending Yukihira's voice shows him he's going to be a powerful ally when it comes to uh, the battle against Central. I love Kuga's character so much. He's so funny. I like his side, his little, um, his little side dudes, man. His little sidekicks. Like I think these guys, these guys need some names. They need some character development because even though they're all bald, they all have their different facial expressions. I hope we get to know more of each of them because they're funny. Hi, Yukihira, I'm sorry, was like running them into the snow. Literally, they kept looking for this damn honey over and over again until Yukihira was completely satisfied because he wasn't satisfied until he found that honey. It's like, uh, it's good, but it's not what I want. It's good, but it's not what I want. Oh, back into the wild. And I'm thinking like, oh god, thank god you didn't run into a bear. That would have been fucking crazy. But anyway, Yukihira, this chapter ends with him wanting uh, Haima to taste his food. Because so, it basically chose Yukihira to win this ma match. And Dojima explained it even better. He says, you lost the will to have someone say, I want someone to say this is delicious. That's what Yukihira was wanting from Haima. Haima didn't want that from Yukihira. He didn't want to be there. He didn't want to take out Yukihira and he didn't want to fight these reasons to fight for June. There are different reasons now. He before he used to fight for June, but now he's fighting for June and she doesn't even support him. She does she doesn't like what's going on. And they had a fight too, and she ended up leaving the I think believe the research facility. Yeah, she doesn't want the research facility down. But what's more important, the research facility or Haima, the freedom of Haima. And that's what I think Haima needs to learn. That June is an adult. Even though she's losing her research facility, there are other ways that she can survive out there. She'll find something new. But she wants to find something new with Haima, not without him. And I think that's the lesson Haima's going to have to learn too. Is not just about oh, getting the fire back, but also trusting June a little more. Because she took care of him first. And now he needs to remember that. It's not just always him that's going to hold her hand. 
she, he was a little kid when she found him. And I, oh man, this the character Devon for Haim is going to be like off the charts after this. And I can't wait to see it. I'm so glad that this arc happened to one of the most one of the important important characters of this story. Because one thing, they got a taste of what it's, he has a little taste of what it's like for Central. And he can give some insight on that, why this is even more of a reason why we need to fight against Azami and his beliefs. So we have a little taste of what one of our dudes is being in Central. And now, what's going to happen after this chapter? Well, it's pretty obvious. The research facility, that's done for. Azami is going to be ruthless. And I'm pretty sure Haima is going to leave the Elite 10 of Central, not of Totsuki, because that wasn't the Elite 10 that he wanted to join in the first place. That was a different Elite 10. That was a bad Elite 10. He's going to come back, and I hope they don't suspend him. I don't think that's going to happen, right? They're not going to kick him out. No, 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 no. Fuck that. That is bullshit. They better not do that, but his research facility is gone, and I wonder if we're going to get a like heartfelt moment of them might destroying the building. Can they do that? No? I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, but... I don't know what's going to happen with June. I, I know we're going to get a heartfelt moment with June, though. Now, I, now that this battle is done, we have another another battle that's going on right now. It's probably behind the scenes. I hope they don't do this. I hope they don't show something like Aldini and Megumi and their aftermath of their uh, test with Rendu. I hope they show that because I don't know if that's going on right now or if it's going to happen next, but I hope they don't show the aftermath of that. I want to see... Megumi and Aldini in their match. I want to see how that goes. And I'm not sure if they're able to beat her. If they double team her, maybe. But I am so excited for this arc right now. Hi, my man. I can't wait for his character development to continue on. This was so good. 4.5 out of 5 stars. Love this chapter. Hope you guys like the review. Fantart out.